وقيب سنة سفارة مرايكا كحرير كأرمها بلشدة صوماليا جون تلفسون وكل هذا اللي يسحافة مقالة النيروبي أي دلك كينيا أي كور بحيي حد قدوب يدا حقوق الآذنة أي كدعا صوماليا يدو سنة والبدولة مرايكا كأي صوصار تور بحين قدو كسافة حالة حقوق الإنسان كصوماليا وحنا السيجارة وقال اللي بعتوين ككدعة يا مقالة مقدشة بنتلان سومالي لان يدلل كقرشي سن. But first let's talk a little bit about the general human rights situation in Somalia, and we can start by saying that for decades human rights have suffered in Somalia, from an oppressive regime through nearly 20 years of anarchy, Somalis have not known peace or freedom or equal opportunity. The country's poor human rights situation deteriorated further during the year, especially in areas controlled by al-Shabaab and allied extremist groups. Contributing to the worsening picture was the absence of effective governance institutions and rule of law, the widespread availability of small arms and other white light weapons, and continued conflicts. The worst violators of human rights are terrorizing the southern part of the country, namely al-Shabaab and allied extremist groups. Al-Shabaab originally claimed to have formed in order to expel Ethiopian troops from the country, but they have shown that they have a much more violent and destructive agenda for Somalia. It seems that few people in Somalia actually support al-Shabaab's extreme violence and extreme beliefs, but their fear keeps them from resisting. Freedom of speech and freedom of press have been repressed in southern Somalia, as al-Shabaab has taken over radio stations, threatened and killed journalists, and coerced others into airing only their content. The rights situation deteriorated also in Puntland and Somaliland. In Puntland, we saw government officials harassing and detaining journalists. One recent incident involved a journalist from Voice of America who was held in detention for 17 days in Puntland. In Somaliland, President Riale has denied his constituents the right to a free and fair election, instead manipulating electoral laws in order to extend his rule. Hamdi Mohamed Kadia, Universal TV, Nairobi.